information system security officer in Washington DC if you're interested in this job then you've come to the right place man my on my inbox is getting slammed with with opportunities all over the country it's amazing um, if you're interested in knowing how I'm able to do this how I'm able to get all these um, opportunities and offers for jobs you can click this link right here go to the course it's called cyber security <laughs> it's called it's it's about how to get into cyber security and how to make up to six figures there's no guarantees in it I'm telling you how I was able to do it however if you if you do what I did there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get in and make some really good money um, it's not get rich quick is not that this is a real way to get jobs okay so that's what this that this course is if you're interested go check it out I also have another course on how to get into remote work which I've been doing for years there's a way to find these remote positions so I tell you how I've been able to do this back to back for the last five years okay let's get into this we are talking about information system security officer or an ISSO position I can talk I can make an entire course about this because this is what I've been doing for many years I know a lot about this because I've been doing it so long so let's just jump right into it let's talk about what kind of position it is type of position is a full-time contract and it's in Washington DC USA it is oh TSSEI is a must wow <laughs> wow right off the bat that eliminates most people who are gonna watch this but uh, minimum requirements three years serving as an information system security officer at a clear facility minimum five five years working ex working experience in a computer science and information assurance field that means information system security officer that means doing documentation doing risk management framework doing things like diacap that's the old name for it uh, if you know what those things are you're already on the right track at least one of the following certifications a CISSP a GISP a CASP or any other certification that exemplifies skills set on the DOD instruction 8570.1 information assurance level three proficiency they're very specific about this and there's basically a list on the 8570 that tells you what certifications that they will approve of and CASP CISSP GISP uh, and there's a couple other ones that they that are on that list um, let me see familiarity with the use of operation uh, operation of security tools such as Tenable Nessus Security Center IBM Guardian Guardian client uh, web inspect and in map uh, okay bachelor's degree or advanced degree in computer science information assurance or engineering is preferred and um, they're asking you what's your expected rate what's your name what's your contract number contact information um, and what I'll do is I will put the contact information below I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this one because they want you to have a TSSCI. There's not many people who have that. Um, not many people are going to qualify for this position, unfortunately. I was kind of excited that it was an information security officer since I could talk all day about that. And they don't really have a lot of stuff of what you do here, unfortunately. Minimum, they have the qualifications, but what do you actually do? I don't, I'm not sure. Because information security officer can be any anything from hands-on type stuff that they want you to do as far as like scanning or putting patches on or it could be like completely hands-off and you're doing more of a management type of project management kind of role um, but they're not explaining that here so that's unfortunate I'm trying to see if there's any links here anyway they have the contact information so what I'll do is put it down so the fact that this is TSSCI means that they can't really say a lot um, about the position or where it is or what you do or anything like that so you probably have to contact them and find out more information if you're interested in that like I said go in the description below I'll put all of this information there and for now let's that's it guys I'm gonna close this one down see you later